Response or calibration factors are commonly used in environmental laboratories. Calibration factor is a measure of the chromatographic response of a target analyte relative to the mass injected. Whereas a response factor is a measure of the relative mass spectral response of an analyte compared to its internal standard. Each calibration or response factor represents the slope of the line between the response for a given standard and the origin. The average calibration factor or response factor of the standards for each analyte is then used to calculate the concentration of the sample. Common criteria specified by EPA is that the RSD of the factors is less than 20 percent in order to use the average RF or CF for calculating concentration. Do note that some methods specify more stringent criteria. For example, EPA method 1631 for low-level mercury specifies a less than or equal to 15 percent RSD for the calibration factor. And some references do accept a wider RSD criteria of 25 percent. However, a less than or equal to 20 percent criteria is most commonly accepted. As noted on the equations, the calibration factor, which is an external standard equation, is simply the area of the compound divided by the concentration of the compound. Do note that instead of an area, a different response such as a peak height, intensity, or absorbance can also be used. The response factor, which is an internal standard equation, now factors in the internal standard ratio where the area of the compound is multiplied by the concentration of the internal standard and then divided by the area of the internal standard and concentration of the compound. Please refer to the internal standard presentation for more detailed information. When multiple internal standards are used in an analytical run, the method links individual internal standards to a group of compounds. However, the laboratory SOP must specify the internal standards to be used for which compounds. The three important factors needed to calculate unknown concentration are average response factor or calibration factor, standard deviation, and relative standard deviation, which usually has a specific method criteria to be met. When calculating concentration, the external standard equation is simply the area of the compound divided by the average calibration factor. And when calculating concentration by the internal standard equation, the area of the compound is multiplied by the concentration of the internal standard in the sample divided by the area of the internal standard in the sample multiplied by the average response factor. Similar equations may be reviewed in 8000C, section 11.5. The benefits to using the calibration response factors is that one, it assumes linearity through the origin so no negative calculated concentrations will result. The main benefit is that the calculation is very simple. Some of the cons to using the calibration response factor calibration is that the curve must be linear and the actual detector response factor may not be properly reflected.